Okay, so here we have a used litter box. This is the litter box that the kittens have been using. Um, as you can see, there's a couple little poops in there. But other than that, it's completely fresh pine bedding. Um, I will show you the bottom and show you why. When they pee, it pretty much disintegrates. It falls through um, that sifting system and makes for clean litter all the time that doesn't smell. Essentially, this top portion kind of creates a barrier for that smell and also the pee pads suck up some of that smell. Okay, also, I buy um, just little biodegradable bags. It just makes it easy when you keep everything next to your litter system. Um, simplicity and efficiency, I think, when you have cats is, is huge. So we actually keep our litter boxes, other than the kittens, all on our catio. Um, I have a trash can nearby for poop bags, um, for, for litter pads, and then I also have replacements all nearby. So everything's pretty much boom, 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 and we deal with our cats, especially having six right now. Okay, so here's my bag. And these are biodegradable, so it's nice because everything that's going into here is going to be biodegradable. Um, when it gets thrown in the landfills, it's not going to still exist, you know, 20 years from now. No, I'm not a tree hugger, but it is nice. Okay, so here's our little poofy systems. You can kind of shake it around. Everything will fall through, even with the little kitten turds, pretty much other than the turds. And you can throw them in the back. So we have a little bit right here. A little bit right here. Thankfully, they don't have super stinky poop yet, so it's not that. Um, okay, so now essentially we have clean litter. I take my bag, I usually tie it, um, and toss it in the trash can. If I want to clean the bottom, uh, which you can kind of gauge as you go, just having one kitten, I can't imagine it's going to need to be done very much. This can be kind of sifted to make sure all the small stuff falls through before replacing it. And then I always like to set it on this top portion just so it's not touching any tables. Now you can see what the bottom looks like. It's literally wet sawdust that has absorbed the pee. Um, in this box right now, I don't have a breeze pad. I just have a regular pad. So all I do, I take all four corners, pull them together, crumble it up, and throw it in the trash. It's literally that simple. Oh, I don't have a, a regular pad. So as you can see, this bottom portion is still perfectly clean and um, it practically eliminated the smell. So what I'll do now is just replace with a clean pad that I didn't put over here. That wasn't smart. Um, I'll just replace with a clean pad, put this back on, put this top portion back on, and you have essentially a brand new litter box. These pellets, in the box almost never have to be changed unless the cat for some reason gets diarrhea. It makes for a little bit of um, a messier situation regardless of what kind of litter system you use. So then that might have to get replaced more. Or if you just think it's kind of getting yucky and just needs to be completely refreshed at that point, you would just toss out all the pellets and just replace with completely new litter. The original lady that I watched this video from, I wish I could get her, give her credit right now, but I don't remember her name. Um, she says for one cat per box, you would only replace the entire litter about once a month. Um, it seems like we don't even really have to do that because it just stays so fresh and whatever they pee on just disintegrates and falls through every day. You know, I, you kind of have to like move it around or just take your scooper and I just kind of go like that just to make sure the small stuff falls through. Um, and then you're good to go and it's an amazing litter system and I wouldn't do it any other way.